Hello and welcome everyone, this is Rowan from Player Gaming, and today we're doing something a little bit different because I had to restart my computer and team unloaded and it's safe. So our Thor uh, Thorium Plus Calamity playthrough unfortunately has to be voided because there's really no other option seeing as uh, there's no saves anymore and that means our world is gone, our characters are gone. And to redo it would just be kinda no. So I'm going with a new game that I got. This one's called Simple Planes. And as you can probably guess by the title, you build simple planes. You just drag parts together to make things. As an example, I'll show you something I've made before. I'm gonna show you my Stealth Light Fighter. So this one features Two air-to-air -air missiles, only very light armament because it's supposed to be a light fighter. Some wing-mounted cannons, uh, multiple vertical sta or horizontal stabilizers, sorry, and two jet engines under the wings. These create a fair bit of drag, but not as much as you'd be expecting because all that drag is put into the fans which power the jets. So if we get off the ground here, you can see that. It's kinda unstable. I would trim it so it would go up, but then my roll would also be trimmed. Has a few fancy features. I give it air brakes, so it can slow down really fast. And I make sure it can slow down really extra fast. I also have an arresting hook in case it needs to make carrier landings. And a parachute. I can cut the parachute loose as well. And if I select air to air, you can see I can fire my wing guns and I have my interceptors, which are air to air missiles. So that's about all that there is to this plane. But apart from that, it's really fast. It can maneuver. It maneuvers okay. It's rolling at high speeds. It's incredible. Because you can see the size of the control surfaces on the main wings. That's why I actually had to make these little wings, because it actually uses the yaw input to make a less tight roll. Because otherwise, your rolling looks like this, which generally isn't very easy to control. But anyway, we're not going to just sit, about, sit here and talk about what I've made through my time playing this. I'm going to talk about what we're going to make in this series. My idea is in the end, I want to have a multi-role fighter. But to do that, you need components that a multi-role fighter would generally need. And we're gonna... work on one different thing in every episode of this series. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is uh I don't actually know yet. I think I'm just going to make just a stock standard plane or n not even. We're going to figure out what the fuselage is going to be like in this plane. So I think we should use fuselage blocks make it similar to the F4 Phantom so that we can have fuselage loading and a uh, good room for wings and stuff. This video on the fuselage is also going to include the the propulsion as well. So we're going to figure out where that's going to go. I think I'm going to make it just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to add a nose cone. Now, I have two choices here. The thing is, right now, it can have a cockpit view. And it's fine. But the only problem is, is this cockpit sticks out way too much. My other option is to do this. And it also, as you can see, creates a fair bit of drag. What else I can do is edit the shape of this, make it shorter, and then I can sort of embed the cockpit into the plane itself like this, and then 
I can lift it up. Like lift it back up, which hides that cockpit away so it doesn't look as ugly. But there's also a problem with that because, sure, now it's fine. The cockpit looks much better. And on top of that, it creates less drag. If I open up the drag menu, you can see it still creates just as much drag, but there's less of it to create drag, which is what we want. But then it does this. Cockpit view, you're looking inside of it, and it looks kind of messy. See, it's pretty weird. So I don't know what to do here. I think, because cockpit view is pretty essential for immersing yourself and for uh, being able to use your missiles because it's hard to get a lock on without them. So I think I'm going to kind of settle for an in-between space. I'm going to take this. Um, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to make it... No. Definitely not. Move this. Change this. I think I'm just going to leave the cockpit here in a little hollow. That looks a little bit weird. Maybe if I move this. I'm going to work on this and I'll be back when I'm done. And I've got a solution that works. I have a all right cockpit view. The profile of the plane doesn't look all that messy. The drag should still be about fine, yeah. So now we have to make the... Because right now, if I were to put, say, a pylon, which is what's used for holding armament on the bottom, I just can't put a pylon on the bottom of this thing. But I should, in theory, be able to put pylons here, which I can't. So maybe I can use a structural piece like this. Alter the shape. Oh, I can do that. Cool. I'm actually just going to add the shape of it. So I'm going to probably move it like over here so I can edit the shape better. So I have created a multi-pylon setup that will allow me to do that. And that can have, can carry a lot of things as long as I just make them smaller, usually. Can carry a lot of things that look decent. So I mean with this, yeah, looks fine. But say if I took off of these and put on a boom 50, now that doesn't look quite right, so I'd have to alter the size of the Boom 50. Maybe like an Inferno. Those actually work really well. But something like an Interceptor, it's just too long and too big. Like the fins are overlapping. So that should work. Now that I have that done, so I'm start working on making the fuselage flatter on the bottom so that we can accommodate all the weapons. So I'm going to do that because it's just going to be really grindy. So I got the basic fuselage shape done. I'm probably going to actually need to make this uh, more gradual, but I don't think I can do that. So I'm going to work on propulsion. I think I'm going to go with one of the larger jet engines just because they provide a lot of thrust and they work with the kind of circular shape I'm going for in this particular plane. Fortunately, I cannot put them here, apparently. But propulsion can be attached via pylons. So, oh, oh, it's hooking onto the top here. Which is a good thing, I think. No. So instead, I'm going to use the Blasto J-50s. These are a kind of mid-ranged jet engine. 
and they're not amazing but they are pretty good for what they're used for anyway i'm also going to use some overhaul magic to change their shape now with that magic done i have my propulsion in the back and i'm not getting enough air so i'm going to put some inlets right up near the front i'm going to use some of the good inlets too the ones that look like they belong on like an f-16 or sorry like an f-22 but to do that we're going to need these blocks and then we can put on this I'm hoping if I take oh no I can't take that off okay and it doesn't really fit well with the form so I'm going to take maybe this block and make it less wide like that and then I exit out of here set these here and they're pretty flush with the rest of the design I can take this this here no not that I'll do it from here Oh no. There we go. And then if we put this width back to two, so it fits flush with the rest of the design, these things are kind of embedded, which is exactly what we wanted. And hopefully, no, it's still dependent on it. Dang it. So now. I should get enough air, should have enough fuel. My engines should provide some thrust. But they're not. Do I have any fuel at all? I do not. So now I'm going to need to get some fuel. What I doing? And to do that, it's pretty simple. I can just fill up one of these fuselage blocks. And that gives me my fuel. And we just got airborne. Perfect. That's not so perfect. But for all intents and purposes, this is pretty good for a beginner plane. Except for one main problem that, or one main thing, the planes have that this vehicle currently does not. Hint, they give you lift. And they also look kind of cool. And that's where most of the weapons are stored. Yeah, so wings. So we are going to need to move these in these inlets clo er, closer to the front. Now that we have the air intakes moved, there's room for some wings. But, unfortunately... This is all we have time for today. The series will be segmented, meaning the next video should be the other series I'm doing, which my memory is failing me at the moment, but whatever series I alternate between, oh yeah, but the Besiege campaign, that will be next. And the video after that will be this one. If you guys would like to see this video or this series more, I will pause the Besiege campaign in favor of that. Beyond that, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon. I hope you all had a nice day, and in the next episode, we'll be adding wings. Now, you guys in the comments get to decide. If there's any comments saying a preferred wing shape, we can do straight out wings, delta wings, back facing wings, even front facing wings, or any other ideas that you guys have, leave them down in a comment. I'll probably hear them, or see them, or read them, or, you know, any of those normal things. And then we will be able to add those wings in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!